Hello YouTube, this is Boba7772 and today I'm here doing a kind of unboxing video. This time I've got a rather large box as you can see kind of with my hand comparison. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's open this up and see what's in it. Just set the camera right there. As you can see also there's a huge gaping hole in this box so it's kind of obvious what it is and aside from that I know what, uh, I already kind of figured what it was. So. Just cut the tape here. Tell them it's pretty branch motion yet. This is a YouTube video. Yeah, so this was a graduation gift. This was a graduation gift. Oh. So, this is what we got. It's a backpack type thing. So very cool, this little itty bitty backpack came in that huge box. And of course I'm joking, this is just one of the many things. Um, so... got an Xbox One controller, and that bag was obviously for the Xbox One, uh, this receipt type thing. Okay, and, ooh. uh, three month Xbox Live membership. And the big thing. The main part is the Xbox One itself. So, let me make sure there isn't anything else in it. Good. Nothing else. And... Let's check this thing out. Okay, so, um, this camera will probably be a bit shaky, but here is kind of the second mini haul thing. So, uh, first of all, um, I got this kit that came with the Xbox One, and it includes Forza 5, um, and also, just to put it out there, I got Rise and Thief, and uh, Watch Dogs comes out in a, a week from tomorrow, uh, or at least by the date that I'm filming this, it'll be a week from tomorrow, like uh, May 27th or something. Uh, so, you know, that'll be fun. Uh, I got the X07 headset. Uh, the Air Force X07 uh, Premium Xbox One Gaming Headset. It's by Turtle Beach. This thing is amazing. I got this the other day, and wow, just wow. I haven't been able to test it with the Xbox One yet, obviously, but it feels nice. It looks incredible. It's just all around, top of the notch, just superb, fantastic, great. Um, the la uh, and the other thing I got for graduation uh, is a Sega Genesis Classic Game Console. Sorry about that. Um, so pretty much, um, I used to have a Sega Genesis, and we lost all the cords, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, like, used to live at, you know, between two different houses, because parents divorced, blah, blah, blah. Um, so the Sega Genesis was at, was at one of the houses, and it kept switching, and eventually we didn't use it for a while. The cords got lost, blah, blah, blah. Well, we still had a few games, like, uh, there's a Flintstones game, a Mickey Mouse game, and then some game where you're in a ship that starts with T that I just completely forgot. Um, and yeah, anyway, I got this thing, and I'll be doing a review on it. Here are the games that come in it. It comes with 80 games, which is awesome, uh, including Sonic the Hedgehog games. Uh, there's five of them. Uh, and that's somewhere on here. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D Blast, and Sonic Spinball. Uh, there's also really fun games like uh, Rice Star, uh, Alex Kid. I love. Um, and I played a few of these games. They're they're actually really fun. So yeah, um, I am actually going to hook up the Xbox now and kind of show my little 
gaming station and everything and whatnot. Uh, before I get it set up, let's do just kind of a quick actual unboxing of this thing. Uh, so this thing is huge. Um, okay, so I guess it comes off the other way. I had it upside down. And everything spilled out. Just make sure that the console is good. Okay, so we have a Forza 5 with... I am assuming it's game code. I, I think it can do two players on one Xbox. I'm not sure. It, it looks like it can. Uh, on this thing on the back, I don't know how much of this I can show because I don't know where the code is. But it says Xbox One, one to two players. Xbox Live, two to 16 players connect is optional. And force feedback wheel is optional, which is this really expensive wheel that you can get for pretty much exclusively this game. And we have this instruction sheet. Um, we have... No, not sure what this is. Uh, team up or challenge a friend. Hey, Ick, everything okay? That's my dog. Here, say hi to the camera, buddy. He's a good boy. He just gets bored easily. <laughs> Ick. Alright, and back. I had to go get my dog a rawhide bone. So that he would leave me alone and could have fun chewing his bone. So we have an Xbox One, uh, the basic mic. Uh, so, you know, it's the basic mic. Um, I got the better one, obviously, which I showed a second ago. The... X07s. Uh, now I have two controllers and two uh, profiles, so I can use both, which will be pretty cool. We've got, oh boy, this huge monster of a plug. <laughs> it looks huge. I guess I'll try to be finding a place for this. We have this, which I presume plugs into the other part of it and then plugs it into the wall. Xbox One more instruction manual. And then the controller. So let's take the controller out and look at it. And it comes with batteries. That's nice. I'll probably have better batteries. So here's the controller. Wow, just wow. Thing is, this thing is awesome. It feels a lot nicer than the other controller. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm gonna get used to this and not want to go back to the 360 controller. Uh, but really, really nice. There's a couple red parts on there that aren't showing up as red in real life, but it's there on the camera. That's pretty interesting. No idea what that is. I guess the camera can pick them up when I can't. Okay. <clears throat> so. Here is another cord. I presume it's like the HDMI cable or something. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, delicate, delicate, delicate. I'm trying to get the connect sensor out of the box. Okay, it's got this long cord, and then we've got the connect here. I presume I can just, you know, slide this thing off. Lift, lift, one. And we got the plastic part off. Woo, woo. So now we have a really nice Xbox One sensor, which I'm going to probably have to reorganize my gaming systems again. So just take the top part of this out, and we'll get to the main part of the Xbox One, which is the Xbox One itself, this gigantic console. So there's a couple of uh, styrofoam things and then this kind of uh, thin styrofoam sheet that covers the Xbox entirely. So we just take these out. Yeah, they're on the they're on the bottom too. Okay, okay. Just gonna set that there. Take the styrofoam pieces out. Throw them over there. Scoot the box back, uh, and then we will. Do the unwrapping of this thing. So let's take this off. 
And uh, once again, I said this kind of earlier at the uh, beginning part of the video, but this is a graduation present. Oh, it looks like I had it upside down. Hope that doesn't mean anything bad. Uh, this is a graduation present, which is awesome. All this stuff is. So, yeah, here it is. Um, I'm going to just go over and do a quick uh, view of my gaming setup before this, and then my gaming setup after this, because it might change, it might not. I'll show you what I have planned. And, yeah, let's look at that. So we'll start off over here. I've got a couple, uh, I think, two HDMI cables up here. Or I, this is just one. There's one over there on the gaming setup, which you'll see in a second. Uh, we have two of these uh, wireless uh, Sega Genesis controllers that came with that thing I showed earlier in the video. Uh, one's right there. Uh, then we have a secondary game cube controller. Uh, for each system, I've got at least one controller over by the systems itself. Uh, we have this controller, which I actually customized, which... This is like one of my best things that I think I've done, so I'm really proud of myself here. I think I did a good job at this. I don't know. Maybe just tooting my own horn. I'm proud of it. Uh, we have the Halo 3 controller. It came with the little Master Chief action figure. Uh, we have a... Uh, what is it? Black standard Xbox 360 controller. White standard Xbox 360 controller. And then two of my Sega Genesis games that aren't built in. Let's see. Uh, there's... Uh, what, there's this, uh, the Flintstones game, and then there is, I'm gonna get this, it's, it's up here, it's just, focus, Thunder Force 2, okay, so, those are those, uh, I haven't played those in a while since, uh, with my old Genesis, uh, but, you know, gonna play those soon, so let's, uh, show my gaming setup now that you see where I keep my other controllers. Bam! So here's my gaming setup. I've got four consoles at the moment. We have a PlayStation 3 right here. We have a Nintendo GameCube right here. A Sega Genesis uh, that uh, classic edition that comes with the 80 games. And then we have an Xbox 360 right here which I should be getting uh, new cords for it tomorrow uh, with a couple other things which I'll announce at the end of the video. Um, and then we have my main GameCube controller, my main Sega Genesis controller, my main Xbox 360 controller, the main PlayStation 3 controllers right here. So, here we are. We have the TV, all my Star Wars stuff, Skylanders, Skylanders, action figures, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we have the TV here. Uh, and then we have all the consoles on top. And the place I am planning to put the Xbox 360 is under all these consoles in this little slot here. I'm hoping that it will go and fit and everything will be nice. So let's see how things went. Okay, so we got this hooked up pretty much <clears throat> the way I wanted to. Uh, I, well, I didn't prepare for the connect sensor, <clears throat> which I, I kind of originally planned for it to go on top of the Xbox One here, but that couldn't work because right across from the Xbox One is my bed, like right here. So, you know, that wouldn't work. So we had to put it up here, and it's kind of aiming up a little because I'll be sitting on my bed or sitting in the floor here and playing it. Uh, so that's just going to be sitting on top of my Xbox 360 for now. Um, GameCube, Genesis, and PlayStation 3 are staying the same. I had to put a couple of my controllers over on that shelf. Uh, but I've still got my PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and uh, soon-to-be Xbox One controllers up here. Um, this is my Xbox 360 one, by the way. I hope that they come out with a similar version for the um, Xbox One, because I like these special edition controllers, and I'm really uh, hoping that they come out with a controller for uh, one of the games that I get at some point. A uh, really cool, you know, limited edition kind of controller. So that'd be cool. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll be doing a review of this Xbox and the games on it and whatnot uh, in a later thing. And then one quick announcement. So the quick announcement that I wanted to do is pretty much I've started a second channel and it's called EIC04. Uh, all the letters are spelled out and everything. And it's pretty much going to be a gaming channel. Um, I'm going to be playing games and uploading videos, uploading reviews of games, 
uh, all of that on that separate channel. So I'm hoping that these two channels can kind of coincide with each other. I'm still going to do videos on this Bulba 7772 because I've had this for like since 2007. So that's like almost seven years now. Uh, this summer, like I think on June 30th or something, my YouTube channel will, will turn seven years old. And that is a big, big deal. Uh, but I did start the second one. It should be in my featured channels. And I'll also put a link in the description so that, you know, if you're into gaming videos and stuff, you can give it a try if you want. Like, you know, no, you should do this, blah, blah, blah. Because this Boba 7772 is first and foremost an action figure uh, channel. But, you know, it's also got other stuff like movies, TV shows, video games, comics, books, all of that. Uh, just the fandoms I'm in, pretty much. And this is going to be just a new kind of... I don't want to say segment. A new kind of just place to put all my video game stuff. Uh, because I'm going to be getting a capture card. Uh, so hopefully I will be able to capture a bunch of stuff on my Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Xbox One. Including walkthroughs for games, reviews for games... Uh, just, you know, me playing games and just talking. So, you know, if you were like, oh, that Boba 7772 guy is just so cool. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, all of you have got to be saying that. Um, you can, I'll probably, you know, be telling stories and stuff, you know, just fun. Uh, if any of y'all have an Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, any of that stuff, uh, feel free to add me. Uh, I'm trying to think. My PlayStation... Network ID should be R E V A N seven seven two, so Revan seven seven two, and then my uh, Xbox Live account is Boba seven seven two, so B O B A seven seven two, and then I've also got a couple other accounts, so uh, that'll be good. Um, so you know, if you want to play anything, if you want to do any videos, any of that stuff, you know, just hit me up to say hey, you know. I've got this system. We should totally play a game sometime. Let me know what games you have. Because, uh, you know, I usually also play games for the story. That's the main reason I play video games. Because I'm really into the story. And I like it whenever there's a whole universe set around it in um, multiple medias. So I like it whenever there's uh, games of something. And then there's books and comics and possibly TV shows or movies of it. And just like in all one continuity. Uh, that's one reason that I like Star Wars, uh, The Walking Dead, and Halo so much. And then, you know, a nice bonus is if it has its own action figure line. Because I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, and I'm going to get the action figures. And I'm going to learn more about the characters and everything. And I get to do fun reviews on this channel. And just have a ton of fun with, you know, all of my fictional, favorite fictional universes. So that pretty much uh, rounds this video up. I will be doing a review on my Xbox One, just uh, another reminder. Not sure if I'm going to upload that on Boba7772 yet or uh, EIC04. Uh, but once again, you know, there will be a link in the description if you want to check that channel out. Um, I'm trying to do a cooler profile picture and... Uh, cover picture than what it has right now because the cover picture right now is just blank and then the profile picture is of my Halo 4 Spartan so I might make it more oriented toward me I I'm not sure yet I may just keep it as a Spartan for now because Halo's my favorite game series and uh, I want to do that so yeah um also if there if you know you um are going to be watching my gaming channel then are there any games you want to see me play? Uh, remember, I have a PlayStation 3, uh, Xbox 360, and an Xbox One now. And I'm going to try to be getting a Wii. And with that Wii, I'll be able to get Wii games and GameCube games to place. And uh, just a quick thing, I have Super Mario Sunshine, which is my favorite Mario game. And a lot of people don't like it, but I love it. And I also ha am uh, just ordered off eBay the other day uh, The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition for the GameCube. So that'll be really fun. When I get a Wii, I will definitely do walkthroughs of those because those are two incredible series, Mario and uh, Legend of Zelda. And I hope to be getting more into all this stuff, learn more about gaming universes, uh, meet new friends on Xbox One and Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, all that stuff. I hope, I, I'm i hoping to have a lot of fun here. Um, and then also start something big and fun. So that pretty much wraps up my video. 
thank you for watching. Um, you can subscribe if you want. You can like the video if you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just I do these videos for fun anyway. Uh, so I, I, I'm really excited to get uh, into all of this new stuff. So, you know, be sure to uh, watch more videos that I have coming out on both Boba 7772 and EIC04. So thank you for watching, and until next time, keep collecting. Bye.